morning, LGA Wolves, and happy Friday. I am Malachi, who likes to debate stuff, and this is my co-anchor, Dr. Debates! You are watching the Wolfpack Weekly News Program. Hey, Malachi, who does debates, have you been watching the presidential debates on TV? It seems Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton spend a lot of time accusing each other for of things. I guess I am confused as it as to what exactly a debate is. A debate is a formal discussion on a particular topic involving opposing viewpoints. It can be between two teams or two individuals. The presidential debates help voters when deciding who to vote for. So with the presidential debates, Trump and Clinton should be giving their opinions on controversial topics to persuade people to vote for them. Yes, Dr. Debates, and we actually have some wonderful examples of how a debate should look. You'll see it in this week's spotlight. Let's, Let's check, check it out! out. In Mr. Wolf Tank's 8th grade history classes, the students held debates. It was the Patriots versus the Loyalists. Debating on whether to declare independence or not. Each student had to design a poster with a slogan depicting which side they were on and bringing it with them to the debate. Then, one Loyalist and one Patriot would give the opinions and, or viewpoints and Mr. Wolf Tang would decide which side won. Let's check it check out. Check it out! This is the debate between Loyalists and Patriots. The debate is on. Besides taking all your resources, yes, we did do that, but instead, it provided protection from even more drain from your resources. Imagine a robber just went into your house at night, stole everything, and went out. Is that worse than someone coming in, taking a little bit of your food and water, and stopping the robber from ever coming into your house? You're you're in debt, right? And you say um, we're um, we you, we need your help, but we're not in debt. You're in debt. And the only reason you um, our guys are getting out of it is because of us, because we're pay paying the tax that you guys don't want to pay. Do British lobsters have taken our privacy, taken our supplies, food, water, and have taken our lives? This has gone too far. That's why I'm declaring independence from the British. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we harassed you with snowballs, yet you killed five of our colonies. And that wasn't right. Colonies. You colonists. 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 You know what I mean. Oh, well. <laughs> the Boston, the Boston Tea Party was really no way to settle things, and you're unhappy about how we taxed you. But of course, we're gonna tax you if you go sneak onto our ships and steal 340 uh, chests of tea and dump it in the harbor. Like. My name is Joseph Brandt, a Mohawk Indian and a leader of the Iroquois Confederacy. Britain has only provided for America, and yet they act unappreciative. Uh, even though they treated us like this, we still continue protecting them. So here comes the question. We were loyal. What about you? Wow, the Revolutionary War debates by our 8th grade history students were impressive. Indeed. Now we'd like to impress you with a little comical take on the Revolutionary War. Let's check it out! Hi, I'm Savaya. And I'm John. Everett! And I'm Madre Tucker. And we're, we're the your Wolfpack Jokers! Jokers! Yeah, what did the American flag say to the other American flag? What? <laughs> Nothing! It just waved! <laughs> <laughs> What dance is very popular in the 1776? Independent dance. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> what did the colonists wear to the Boston Tea Party? What? A T-shirt! <laughs> 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 Bye! See you later. Listening to the Jokers each week sure puts a smile on my face. Well, you know what puts a smile on my face? Recognizing amazing and hard work from students and staff. Let's, Let's check, check it out. out! This week we would like to, to give a how to Laisha Mendo. Here is what the staff at LGA Middle had to say about her. Laisha is an incredible student. She's awesome, organized, funny, and happy. Hardworking and very smart. In her math class, she is eager to learn and has a great attitude. Laisha goes above and beyond to give her best effort every day. Often she will translate work from English into Spanish so she can do the assignment. Then translate her Spanish work back into English. She completes every assignment and is always prepared for class. She, is, she will ask great clarifying questions when she is unsure of something. Her effort and desire to do well is amazing. Laisha is a pleasure to have in class. Now let's, now let's give, give her a howl. howl. One, two, three. Oh! Once again, we really enjoyed those eighth grade debates about the Revolutionary War. As students, we have our own battles. Often we battle with being responsible and doing the right thing. Indeed, there are so many rules and expectations put on us, such as paying attention in class, completing schoolwork, getting homework done, following the dress code, making good choices when interacting with others, and coming to school on time with a great attitude. The last one is a big one, because the way you come to school can set a tone for you the whole day. Before we go, we would like to give you some tips that will uh, help you start your day, school day off right. Let's, Let's get it! VIP. Let's kick it! It is important to have a morning routine so that you can get to school on time. For example, you may want to choose what to wear the night before. And you should also get all your homework assignments packed up the night before as well so you don't have to worry about them in the morning. Also, it will ensure that you don't forget anything. It is also a good idea to set an alarm in the morning just to make sure you give yourself enough time to get ready and to get to school, especially if you're walking. Also, when deciding on what time to wake up, it is important to allow yourself to get enough time to eat a good breakfast at home or give yourself enough time to arrive here at school to eat a breakfast here. Just figure out a routine that works best for you and stick to it. You want the start of your day to be calm and pleasant rather than chaotic. You want to wake up for school like this. So glad I set my alarm so I won't be late for school. Not like this. You want to head to school like this. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> you want to arrive to school like this. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Ulcer. Hey, Mr. Brazil. Morning, students. Have a great day at school. Good job for coming in. Good to see you guys on time. 
and not like this. Oh my god, I'm so late! Stop, Malachi. You've been late three times in the last two weeks. You might need to stop in my office later to get an attendance contract. Yes, sir. Thank you for joining us once again. Have a great weekend. And remember, be on time for school. I'm late. I'm late. For the important date. No time to say hello. Goodbye. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. No, 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 no. I'm overdue. I'm really in a stew. No time to say goodbye. Hello. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Oh my God. I'm so late.